how do we take that same blockchain technology and apply it to the purchasing of a house? Okay, so the um, so what you saw earlier with the true approval NFT is there is no central authority. Right? When you get a true approval on the blockchain, there is no central authority of where of keeping track of that. Right? It's in the public. Right? It's secure, it's in the public, and everyone can see it. Everyone can see your true approval. Everyone can see how many houses you bid on. Okay? And when you execute that smart contract, when you execute that smart contract, right, it's instantaneous, right? That you execute the smart contract and you accept the seller, it's bound, it's closed, right? And nobody, no other sellers are going to get confused or mixed up. Okay, so what we've done is taken 4,000 euro technology, added some computer technology to it, open ledger, blockchain technology, and now it's accessible to everybody. The real estate market is an interesting market because it is, uh, you know, it's like multi-trillion dollar annual market, but and all the transactions that happen is person to person, what they call over, over the counter. It's all person to person. Right? It is the ideal market, the ideal market for blockchain. It's completely decentralized. Right? And if it's completely decentralized, you need to store the transaction, how that transaction is happening, when it's happening, who it's happening with. You need to store it in a decentralized open ledger format and that's what, um, that's what these true approvals, that's what the NFT is all about. So you make a true approval, you get a true approval, SunWest issues the coin, it's guaranteed, there's real money behind it, right? Not crypto money, but real money. Right? Remember, this isn't about crypto, this isn't about Bitcoin or Ethereum. I don't own, I don't own, I don't own any of that stuff. Right. This is about taking blockchain technology and making it do real work. Right. It's about bringing, yes, uh, excuse me? What does it stand for? Oh, it stands for non-fungible token. Right. So non-fungible means that um, this token is not the same as that token. Like, like if you have two quarters, they're fungible because you, you can replace one quarter with another one, right? It says a quarter is a quarter. But an NFT means this is only one. Right? So you're, if, if you have a true proof of NFT and your friend has a true proof of NFT, they're not swappable because yours is just for you. Because right? your approval is yours and your friend's approval is his. Right? You can't interchange the two. And if you make an offer to a seller with that one and the seller accepts it, then it's bound on the blockchain and it's permanent and it's permanently recorded. And because of the nature of the contract, you are required, to, you, uh, you only have two choices at that point. Either close, right? Or if you back out, you lose your earnest money deposit and it's automatic, right? Because the, your earnest money deposit, your, your commitment to fund, Right, your 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 SunWest true approval, and the purchase contract. Okay, all three of those are on the blockchain. is committed. is public. There's no way around it. So if you once you hit accept and you say yes, I want to buy this property, and yes, you now we kind of did it kind of a little bit lightly, where may just saying yes, I want to I want to put in an offer on this property, and simple yes, almost too easy. Just type in yes, tell Morgan yes, and and I've got the, um, uh, you know, I've accepted the contract, right? But there is real responsibility, real money uh, that's trading hands, okay? Um, and real obligation as a buyer, as you, once you hit, once you click those little buttons and say yes, you're obligated to perform and execute 
right? And make the mortgage payments afterwards and, and all of those kinds of things, right? right. So, uh, so don't let the simplicity and the ease of this fool you. Like there's, there's real responsibility, right? The technology has made it so that buyers and sellers can come together more readily so that listing agents, I mean, uh, in this example, we didn't show it, but we could have, Morgan could have, we could have asked Morgan, and Morgan invite the listing agent. And Morgan could have pulled the listing agent into the conversation, so everyone's talking at the same time. Right? Right. Listing agents, selling agents, the loan officer, the borrower, right? they're getting connected in real time, wherever they are. Right? In this example, they were all in one place, but you know, in real life, it doesn't work that way. Every, everyone's somewhere else. At 8 a.m. every morning, when, when your borrower gets the true approval, I'm sure your borrower is at home and you're somewhere else, right? At home or an appointment or something like that.